Hey everyone, so I got a really big collection update as you can see here, um, and I'm recording this with my phone because my laptop just completely gave out on me. Uh, I want to start with a book, if I can not drop everything. We have A Perfect Union of Contrary Things by Sarah Jensen with Maynard James Keenan, um, Maynard's biography. Um, haven't started yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not usually one for biographies, but I'm really looking forward to this one. Next, we have two Blu-ray movies. We have Snowden, a uh, great movie, highly recommend it. Some great work from Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Then we have Suicide Squad, uh, the extended cut, uh, three-disc set. Uh, there's the extended cut there, and this is the Target exclusive digibook uh, with a 48-page excerpt from the Suicide Squad behind the scenes, and then of course we have the theatrical version and the regular DVD for that. Next we have four or three Blu-ray TV sets. Uh, first we have the Doctor Who Christmas specials. Um, all the Christmas specials except for the most recent two, and it also came with a sonic screwdriver for any Whovians. It's really cool. I love it. Uh, next we have Game of Thrones, uh, the first two seasons on Blu-ray. Um, huge Game of Thrones fan. From, I love the books. Uh, I'm finally going to start the, series, the TV show. And then we have Family Guy, the complete 14th season. So yeah. Next we have a shit ton of PS4 games. We have Uncharted 4, Thief's End. I love the Uncharted series. Can't wait to start this. Sword Art Online, Hollow Realization. My cat will not shut up. Uh, this game, if you love Sword Art Online, this game puts you right in it. Uh, I've never felt so immersed in a game in a long time. Next, uh, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Haven't played this one yet. Um, really looking forward to it. I've heard great things. Of course, Skyrim Special Edition, and there is Decima the Cat. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition, great remaster, great graphics. Final Fantasy XV, I had really high expectations, and I have not been disappointed thus far. Uh, I'm really enjoying this one. Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster. Uh, this is like the third copy of this. I have it for PS2, I have it for PS3, and now I have it for PS4. Uh, Dishonored 2. Uh, really love the first Dishonored game. I uh, can't wait to play this one. And it actually came with a controller skin, which is really nice. And while I'm showing controller skins, I had this one custom made for Sword Art Online. Really nice. Next, Dark Souls 3. Um, haven't died yet, surprisingly. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, haven't played this. I'm playing them in order. Cat, shut up. Shut up, cat. Uh, again, haven't played it yet. Playing them in order. Uh, haven't played this one yet either. Assassin's Creed Unity. Again, because I'm playing them in order. And then, The Last Guardian, which I'm really enjoying so far. Alright. Finally, we're going to get into music. Uh, I'm going to get the ones that will get me hate out of the way first. Uh, Black Veil Brides, We Stitch These Wounds. Um, their best album by far. I don't care if you guys hate them. I like them. So. And another group that will probably get me some hate. We have Insane Clown Posse. Uh, ICP. Their debut, Carnival of Carnage. Really one of their classics. Or the classic. And then Bizarre. Uh, that's B-I-Z-A-A-R, as in crazy, as in weird. Next, we have a, uh, video game soundtrack for <laughs> my favorite game, Final Fantasy X. Uh, this is a four-disc Digipack set, uh, ordered it from Japan. Um, got a really nice letter and a really cool little origami, origami bookmark. Next, we have System of a Down with their self-titled debut, of course, System of a Down, they've never put out anything bad. Next, we have a Devin Townsend al solo album with Teria. A great album. Uh, favorite tracks off this one, Earth Day, uh, Nobody's Here, Tiny Tears, and Mountain. 
Next we have Noctmistium with their self-titled album. Uh, some great black metal from these guys as always. Next we have Cathedral's double album, The Guessing Game. Cat, shut up. Uh, Cathedral, The Guessing Game, it's a double album. Um, I've never been disappointed with the Cathedral album. We have two from Blood Incantation. One of them is actually a 2016 release that I will get to later. But this one is not. This is an EP titled Interdimensional Extinction. Um, really interesting. Um, but I picked these up for like a dollar each. Next, we have Arion with Zero One. This is the deluxe digipack with the DVD. Um... And I would open it, but two of these trays have come, uh, come unglued, and the booklet is not being held in there. Cat! Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to open up that. Um, but it does have great myriad of singers. Uh, Hansi Kirsch from Blind Guardian, Florian, and of course now in Nightwish. Annika van Giersbergen of almost everything. Jonas from Catatonia. Um, Simone from Epica who's going to be on the next album, which I'm really excited about, uh, as well as Arian himself and a myriad of others. So, Arian with Zero One. Next, we have a, a Children of Bodom classic. We have Hate Crew Death Roll, uh, one of my favorite Children of Bodom albums, Needle 24-7. Uh, is probably one of my favorite tracks by them. Next, we have three albums from Woods of You Pray. We have their debut uh, EP, Against the Seasons, Cold Winter Songs from the Dead Summer Heat. We have uh, their first full length, uh, Woods 2, Pursuit of the Sun and the Lure of the Earth. Um, mixed by Glenn, over at Spe uh, Glenn Fricker over at Spectre Sound. And I think I have to say he did an amazing job on this album. Then Woods 3, Deepest Roots and Darkest Blues. Um, another great Woods of Prey album. I don't think they put out a bad album. Woods 5 was their pinnacle, though. I will say that. And next, this one's technically a 2016 release, um, but it's a reissue. Trivium with Ember to Inferno, Ab Initio. Um, disc 1 here is the Ember to Inferno album. And disc 2 is Ab Initio, which is their blue, red, and yellow demo. Um from their early days, so this is a really cool set to have. Next for 2016 releases, we have the other Blood Incantation album, uh, titled Star Spawn, uh, which is great, has a 13 minute opener, uh, five tracks long, great album. Next we have Streeborg with Spiritual Deprivation. Uh, this is a different turn for Streeborg, as they are, a, or as he is a, uh, uh, one man black metal band, which, uh, but this one is like a dark ambient album, which is really interesting. Um, I I highly enjoy it. Highly recommend it if you like dark ambient. Next we have Animals as Leaders with the Madness of Many. I haven't had a listen to this one yet, but Tosin Abasi never lets his fans down, so I have great expectations. And then the last one is In Flames with Battles. Uh, I. Enjoyed this one more than Siren Charms, but still think, or I'm still not used to their new sound yet, uh, but I'm going to have to get used to it because this is what In Flames is now. Um, but I believe that is everything. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, so yeah, a lot. Uh, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 CDs, 2 movies, 3 DVD sets, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 uh, PS4 games. So, oh, and uh, the book, of course. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for putting up with me, swinging my phone everywhere, um, and listening to my cat purr and meow like crazy for some reason he wants to tonight but i will see you guys next time keep it metal i'll see you guys next time